Good morning. Good morning. It is Friday, June 17th, 2022. And I hope you have your coffee with you this morning. So I have mine. It's still very, very hot. So I might have to wait a minute or two in order for it to cool down. Good morning, Karen. It's always so nice to have everybody come in. And good morning, Donna. And good morning, Elizabeth. Welcome. Welcome. Good morning, Tanya. It's going to be a great day. Good morning, Susanna. Yes, it is Friday, beginning of the weekend. Uh, Kirkland and Mason are getting married this weekend. Yep, it's going to be fun. Good morning, Leanne. Yes, good morning. And good morning, Paul and Sue. Yes, and good morning, Rob. Happy Friday. Yes. Oh, good. Leanne has her coffee with her. Good morning, Bonnie. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And so this morning, I wanted to share with you a question that was asked to me a few weeks ago, and I've been thinking about it ever since. And uh, it's not your typical, um, you know, why did God make bad things? You know, why does God allow bad things to happen? Or why is there war? Or what's my purpose in life? Nope. None of those questions. Uh, good morning, Frida. The question I was paddling, paddling with uh, Beth and Alex a few weeks ago, and as we were paddling, Beth asked the question, how many colors of green are there? And I was like, I've never been asked that question. I've never even thought of the answer to that question before. And it did get me thinking, like, how many colors of green are there? And I started, you know, going, right? You guys are all thinking now, too. Like, how many colors of green are there? Um, <laughs> good morning, Cindy. And Cindy says, there's 547 colors of green. Lots, right? Because we actually don't think about it maybe until we stop to think about it and and as I was I was paddling and I'm thinking about the answer to that question I was like my guess is millions good morning Cindy my guess is like because of the shades and hues and tones and tints like there's just so many different versions of green and uh, just to give you a little and I'm, I'm not a professional artist but I did some googling and now Cindy says 500 plus colors of green and my research said 295 colors of green and so uh, <laughs> um, and what's interesting is you have the main color or hue all right so that's the basic color and then to change that color, which is why I think there's millions of colors of green, uh, if you add white, you're creating tints of the same color. You're lightening. <laughs> uh, so tints. So uh, you could have like emerald green, and then by adding white to it, you're just making uh, lighter tints of the same hue. Uh, to get a tone of emerald green you would add gray so uh, and you add it one drop at a time which is why you can get so many different shades of one color and so many different uh, or no just wait tones of one color to get a shade you add black and that gives you your shades and you do it one drop at a time which gives you like so many different colors or shades of green so overall you have 295 colors of greens and I'm going to say infin infinitesimal an infinite number of tints tones and shades of green and I was just like mes I've been mesmerized a little bit by this whole question of how many shades or colors of green and you have and even now you're thinking about them right so it's Friday so it's it's time to answer the question so name a color of green yes that's I'm gonna shout it out to you 
gives me a chance to have a sip of coffee, gets your mind primed and ready to go for today's work, whatever you might be doing. So name a color of green, right? And then you add yellows and blues and you get so many different kinds of hues of the same color or reds. This is the artist talking. Forest green. That was my favorite shirt growing up. My dad bleached it. That's another story. Olive green, chartreuse, teal green. Look, you guys are good. Mm -hmm. Lime green, right? Neon bringing back the 80s. Uh, lime green, jade, emerald, lime, right? Lime is such a good color for the summer. Hunter green, yes, yes. Uh, I've been to the Emerald Isle and uh, it's definitely green. And we have things like avocado green, if you're from the 70s, right? Your fridge and stove, avocado green. And uh, yeah, I've been thinking a lot <laughs> about green, mint green, one of my favorite colors for ice cream. And uh, so, what's, and what it, why it has been on my mind is because when God created the world, ooh, sage green, mm -hmm, he could have just made it black and gray and green or gray, black, gray, and brown. He could have just made it those shades, but he didn't. He added green and yellow and blue. He added red and orange and yellow, right? He added purple. And he, he added whites to these colors and grays to these colors, and he painted this beautiful world for us to be in. And he didn't have to. He, like, right? It's God. He is the creator. So he didn't have to add color to his world that he created, right? The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it. And yet he chose to add colors and not just the main basic primary colors, right? That you get in a Crayola um, pencil crayon box. He added like shades, tones, tints, right? So that when we ask the question, how many colors of green are there? It's innumerable because he, he painted his world that we might delight in it because he delights in us, right? And he, he painted the world to, for our benefit, right? Paul says he's glad he added the colors. But it just, I have been just amazed by his grace. And this is something um, that people would call common grace that everybody can experience. Um, every person on the planet, whether young or old, whether they have acknowledged God or not, can experience God's common grace to them. Because everybody can admire a sunset or like, a, you know, I want to say a wild turkey. I saw them walking in, right? The different colors, the blacks and the grays and the reds around their, their, their gobbler. Um, or the colors of the flowers, right? Like right now, um, the irises are just finishing off and the poppies are finishing off, but the peonies are coming out and the spirea. And, and those colors are available for everyone, everyone to enjoy because God loves everyone and it's an opportunity for people because it's called common grace. Uh, it's an opportunity for everybody to take in the beauty. And when you say to them, you know, didn't God do such a great job? They're like, yeah, he did, right? It's, it's so, it gets people thinking about the wonder of the creator, right? Um, Romans talks about the power of creation. So let me just turn to Romans chapter 1. And Lord, as we read your word, even this, these few verses, we ask that you would speak to us and that we would hear what your voice is saying and respond. All right. So 
it says, this is uh, 819. Since what may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen being understood from what has been made so that men are without excuse right like God displays himself in creation which is why I tell you to go outside every day so you can experience it but that's called common grace the beauty of the world is God's common grace to man as a little mm -mm nudge to say hey see what I made I made it for you because I love you, because I love you, right? Why do, why do parents decorate a baby's room? Because they love the baby and they want the baby to um, grow and be just surrounded by beautiful things. The Lord wants us to be surrounded by beautiful things, which is why he uses so many colors and tints and hues and tones and shades because he loves us. And so when you go outside today, I want you to be, I want you to walk around like wide eyed, just thinking about how awesome God is by painting the world the way he did for you so that you would come to know who he is and how wonderful he is. And he has even more in store for you than just colors. Let's pray. Lord, you are good and we stand in awe of you today and wow 297 colors of green lord you could have just made one but you didn't because you love us and you delight in us and if you made 297 colors just so we could enjoy them how much more do you have in store for us that's mind boggling. And so Lord, would you use today through us, your creation, to draw people to, to yourself? Would you help us to stand in awe and share that awe with others today, just how wonderful and amazing you are? Yep, just as we did on Wednesday, we stand amazed in the presence Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me a sinner condemned unclean how marvelous Lord thank you for your love today help us to sit and enjoy your goodness to us we pray this in your name amen amen all right my dear friends go and enjoy this colorful world that God has created for us to enjoy and Remember to like, share, go outside, good morning Mike, and help your community experience Christ. Have a great day, bye.